Tired of ads while browsing the web on iPhone or iPad? Well, let's add an ad blocker to your Safari on iPhone. And this, the one we're going to focus on today is called Ghostery. There are other options, but that's the one we're going to demonstrate today. And I should first say before I get too far that you do want to support the content creators who provide you the news uh, and so forth. But uh, in any case, I'm going to show you how to block ads so you have a faster browsing experience on your devices. So let's go get Ghostery. And for that, we need to hop onto the App Store. So go find the App Store on your phone. Once you go in there, you want to go in, into the search box and type in Ghostery. And search for that. And what you want to do, you want to find the one that has uh, basically a a ghost in the middle of the icon and it's a blue box that goes around it and I've already downloaded it before but anyway this is the one you want so you want to get that and I'll include a link below to it for the iPhone so let's download that one okay so now it's down so we're gonna go and open this up and we're doing that just to show you what it would look like and it gives you little instructions on how to do this and this we're gonna walk through the same thing and then show you what it would look like within the browser itself and how to use it. Okay, so first up, we want to go into what it says here. You want to go into Settings, Safari, Extensions. So let's go ahead and do that. And you want to go to Settings. And then we're going to type in Safari. And what you want to do, you want to scroll to the top of your, uh, on your Settings to a search box and type in Safari. And once you search for that and tap on Safari, which for me it happens to be Second from the top, so I'm going to do that. And you'll sh it will now show you uh, Safari. And if you scroll down, you'll find an, uh, a menu item called Extensions. So you want to tap onto that. Within here, you're going to go down to where you see Ghostery. Now, Ghostery may or may not be on for you. For me, it was because I've had it installed uh, several times. Uh, but you want to go ahead and allow the extension. You can also allow it in private browsing if you're using that. Most likely you're probably just using the first one there for allow extension. Once that's on, then we want to head back out and we want to jump into Safari itself. Now you notice right off I'm on LA Times. I do like the LA Times, so I'm not like, like picking on them too bad here, but anyway. So on here, they have like an ad at the top here. If you scroll on down, you'll find another ad uh, down below, like another ad, well, a placement where there would be an ad. So what you want to do to double check things here, you want to go to the extension icon down below here in the, in the in search bar. You tap on that, and then you'll see Ghost Relisted. But before you do that, go to Manage Extensions and scroll this up. And just double check that you have Ghost turned on. In my case, it is turned on because I did it through the, the settings earlier. So let's go ahead and hit done on that. And then what we want to do now is go back onto the screen here, or onto the, we want to go back to the browser and we want to tap on the reload. So tap on reload. Now you notice at the very top, the Ad advertisement that was there or placement where the ad would be is now gone and if you go down scroll down you'll see that the ad is also removed down below where it was in there before and now it's gone and this does help reduce the, the amount of content coming across the internet to your phone and this really helps out if you're out and about with friends and so forth and you don't want to have all these ads taking up extra bandwidth which is one slowing your experience down as well as uh, getting in the way of you trying to read the content. Let's tap on the extension icon down below because you want to go back into Ghostry to show you a little bit more of what it can do. So you tap on that and you'll see Ghostry down below and you want to tap on it. And it'll open up this uh, little uh, window for you so that you can see different things. One is there's a pause option. This pause option allows you to pause the blocking that it's doing. Say you're on a corporate website or something that you use daily for work, you may want to do that. Or for sites that don't work well with Ghostery, you can temporarily pause it uh, to use the service or whatever it is and or and or support your content creators too. <laughs> so that's what you can do here. And it gives you an option for the duration. You can say for an hour, for the day, and also always. 
And you can always come back in and change that if you don't like what you have set. So let's go back out here. Now below that, we have observed activities. And these are the things that are, that's currently blocking on this particular site. And you'll know, see the seed list, their advertising site analytics and so forth. And then below that, you'll have trackers that are blocked. And then what things are enabled. Currently, I have them all enabled. You can adjust it to where you can say, I only want ad blocking, anti-tracking, or never consent. In my case, I'm just going to leave them all on. Uh, and that's how you use this part. Now, the next section we want to do is go into the menu up here, which is the they call the hamburger menu. And it's on the upper right, right below the done button. You want to tap on that. And that opens up. Now you have uh, additional options you can do with this uh, extension. But what I'm going to show you, if you go into privacy protection, uh, you'll see that we have uh, ad blocking on, anti-tracking on, and never consent on. And you can toggle these on or off depending on how you want to use this thing. And if you scroll down, if you feel more adventurous, which we're not going to cover, you can do experimental uh, filters or custom filters, but we're not covering that, so don't worry about it for right now. If you go into websites, it's going to show you any current websites that are being blocked. And if they're, and if you said block for an hour or all day or whatever that would be, it'll show up in here, so you can see them in here, and you can take them, like remove them, and make them not block the ads on those uh, sites that you're visiting. And the same thing for trackers. It's going to show you some tracker information here for uh, things that have been blocked and so forth. And then you can go in to find out who tracks you as well down below and also go into your account if you have an account set up with them. Now to get back out of this, uh, what it did, it basically opened up a new tab on your browser. So what you want to do is you want to tap the bottom right corner, or depending on your browser, you basically want to hit the, the tab button, which is the two squares. So you tap that, and then you go back into your site. For me, it's the LA Times, so let's go back into there. Now we're back into the browsing experience. And as you can see, it continued, obviously, to get rid of the ads. And then if I go off and visit other websites that have ads, it'll remove those from those as well. And hopefully, this improves your browsing experience. So go out there and have fun. It should also be noted that 
uh, Ghostery is available on other platforms, not just uh, iOS and iPadOS. You can use it on macOS, Windows, and Linux. You just have to have a compatible browser such as Microsoft Edge, Chrome, Firefox, and the like.